What's going on, Ariel Collective? Let's get an update. What's going on? I don't really have anything that they're telling me I need to ask. What I need to do is pull the cards and let them do the rest. You feel, what I feel for me is this, my friend. Um, you're not upset, but you feel kind of depressed. And you really don't know why, because you're very happy with your life, with things that are going on. And you're very appreciative too, but something within you is just like a flat feeling, a stagnant feeling. And you're right, because your counterpart is resisting change extremely and you cannot um, dictate their freedom of will you have major forward movement you have major peace in the situation so let's see what's going on what, what, what the cards got for us okay are we moving forward from this let's see we have all right so this is your energy and this is theirs okay what's going on with your energy right now let's 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 process your feelings your emotions why you're feeling a little rattled up but it's an internal rattle you don't feel actually angry with the world or anything like that you feel what's going on with the other counterpart Empress of Pan, the divine feminine within, the nurture, the compassion, the sympathy, the world, completion, perfection, everything coming together. Page of Swords in reverse, people talking shit about you or like gossip um, or at least maybe not that intense anymore. People just speaking behind your back, your name and mouse you don't, you're not aware of with the sun in reverse. So somebody's not speaking the most positive about you to your counterpart, or at least to the situation. And this person is very much like the words that saying uh, this person is saying about you literally don't match any fucking evidence. Nothing about who you are. Nothing. Like all the evidence, everything you show is is like you're a real person. A really supportive, loving self-aware person and the person that's been speaking ill of you to your counterpart is the exact opposite and they're so envious they're envious that you can give this person the world and they can't not saying that what they have they can't give them isn't something beautiful but the thing is you love this person unconditionally and you know that no matter if you're together in this lifetime or not, you're going to fill their energy. And you're going to encourage growth out of them, even if that's not with you. This person notices this about you. The energetic shifts, the changes. And they, and they compare how you, with the energy you send them versus the energy of that counterpart they were with. Or if this is a, this a third party influence when it comes to like family or friends, what I sense is like, the reason, my friend, that you're feeling like, because this is you, this is, this is you, you're, this is what you're sending the world, the divine feminine, the nurture, like, and you're literally sending nothing but positivity out to this world. You're high, you're a very, very high vibrational right now. You're owning your shit. You man up or woman up, whatever it is, however you identify. When you're at fault in a situation, You've given an offer that hasn't been reciprocated and that weird energy you're feeling is because this person is truly now about to come in with forward movement. But the thing is, anybody, I sense that there's a, there, there's very mixed. There's some people that are for this and there's a, a big prominent person or persons that are not about this connection. And your counterpart is completely overcame the need to please them. They see how much positivity you bring to their life without even being physically next to them. So your energy you're sending them is good. The reason you feel this weirdness is because there are people trying to send you ill will that's no longer 
working. Because you're in protection and you're complete in control of your energy. And then we have two Marvel cards connected to you, okay? So we have the Winter Soldier in reverse. Oh yeah, so this is what you're sending them. We got Loki and Winter Soldier. So we got Forever by your side and Care to Discover Your Glorious Purpose. So Loki might really resonate with you or with your counterpart. With the Winter Soldier Forever by your side. The energy you're sending this person is I still am waiting to fight for you. I sense that during winter time, it's winter time right now, but like Christmas and things like that, you both really f wanted to reach out to each other. You might have even just internally, spiritually, energetically wished them a Merry Christmas. They heard it. You heard it from them. This person no longer, so you know how Loki at first is seen as this person this bad person, this very misunderstood soul. This person likes every single different part of you. They've never seen somebody care about them so fucking much. I'm going to rephrase that too. They've never also cared about a connection so much. It was like just talking to you for a few minutes, my friend. Like they 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 go back and they look at the beginning. I can't even see them reading over text messages or I sense that if you were blocked and for a long time you thought you was completely because you did something wrong. A humongous reason they blocked you is because they were obsessive with thinking about you, looking at your profile, and they decided to do that to try to stop themselves, to get over you. Well, I sense my friend that they've either unblocked you or they have a fake account. And that's also where this Loki energy is coming in. Many different faces, but still connected. The energy you're sending out to the world is that you're a fighter, you know what you want, but you're sending out to this person so I'm ready for you when you're ready for me. That's all you can do. Continue to live for yourself. You love them unconditionally. What's up with this person's energy? So we know that you're online. Okay. We know you're online. We know you're following. And we know that they're getting those signals. You can, but you know, they're, they're sending to the sender. What are they doing with the information they're getting? Okay. So, this is them and then this is the influence, just the same as it was for you. Celebration, a pan of four of swords, a pan, so temporary retreat, safety, restore one's force. They're ready to come out of this temporary retreat and bring you celebration, bring you clarity and abundance. And whoever they've talked to about it or the voice that's echoing in their head was that as soon as you come out of rest with the rest in reverse, you're, you're going, you're, you're ace of coins in reverse. You're not going to grow from the situation. The situation's going um, to leave you in an unstable emotional or financial place or both. This person's making the fact that they feel uneasy. They're trying to make this person feel like the fact that they're uneasy is because of your energy. And really, the reason the person's uneasy is because it's time to bring you clarity. It's time to go forward. You're both ready. You're ready to combine your forces. My friend, this is this energy of whoever is trying to get in the way of your connection is either a third party love interest, a, a mom, or like a best friend. Like, I'm telling you, it could be a mixture of a few of them. Remember, this is collective, guys. But like I'm telling you, this person, they, they, they can separate the energy and see really now that this, all this drama, all this negativity, all these feelings, it stems from them. When it's just your energy and their energy, it's the world, it's positivity. It's we're going to restore our forces together. So we want to bring each other celebration. We want to bring each other generosity. And the only thing that ever gone the way were other influences 
So they, ha they are ready to come out of hermit mode with you. And bring you celebration. Okay? They know they can grow with you. It's about going organically further together. Okay? And then this is their uh, last little bit. So, Lockjaw. A good guard dog is hard to find. <laughs> and Black Panther. Wear the crown with honor. They see you in a very high light, okay? They definitely love animals, and there's something about being locked down to an animal. Maybe whoever they were living with was actually putting the animal against them as well. It's like, oh, if you leave me, you, you can't have this animal. They're, they're very passionate about whatever this specific animal is, but animals in general... Like these these bluish eyes are really resonating. This could be either for the animal or it could be for the actual counterpart that we're talking about. You're defined, but these these blue eyes are really resonating. With that Black Panther, this is how they feel about you. Wear that crown with honor. They see you thriving and shining. Again, remember they watch you from afar. They see you thriving and shining, and they are honestly a big supporter of you from the shadows. They're ready to come out of the shadows. And they're going to also let you know the way they see you as like, is like, they want to not only, they see you as a protector and they want you to know, they want to prove, it's not, it's not this proving energy because they are in the sense right now of, the, if I, I want to prove to myself, I want to prove to you that I'm, I'm going to be different than what we had relationships with other people in the past. That I'm, I'm not going to ghost you. I'm not going to stop this clarity. But when they finally are in your vicinity, they're going to realize it's not about proving you anything. It's about you two maintaining and upgrading together. That you can be each other's guard dogs. But also that you really got your, 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 my friend, you're the divine masculine and this counterpart into the feminine. Okay, so that means you're the one that just has that little bit more of the oomph, has that little bit more of the go-getter attitude and not necessarily makes decisions, but it's just where your energy folds. And they're the feminine, the one that needs more of the compassion, needs more of the nurturing, but it doesn't mean they're not strong. You're both two very strong people, Lakja. When, yeah, like bulldogs. <laughs> I don't know if Bulldogs resonate for you. I'm more just taking the energy of how, like, when you both go into life, like, work and everything like that, very divine masculine energy, but just there's this balance of I want to be your sensitivity, your home. When we need to get on and be guards for each other, we can't instantly. You're going to guard this connection. The loyalty of a dog. There's no idea. I can personally say that. I don't know if I've ever felt anything on like a top five as close as the loyalty of, of a dog to you or an animal you're both very tired at this point with all not tired of the signs but like this <sighs> you're feeling right now but with being happy but also so like what's going on it's because spirit's sending them a lot of signs, my friend, that it's it's time to bring you the forward movement. And they're just uh, getting over those last masks, I guess. Remember, you can only lead a horse to water. You can't make it drink. The ball's in their court, my friend. You continue to live for yourself. I still sense that this person's bringing you clarity. And for you, my friend, part of it for you has to be that you don't know when it's coming. Some people, some collectives, that they do. You, this is this could be tomorrow. This could be a week from now. This could be an hour from now. This could be a month. I don't know because your divine is uh, getting, I guess, together that last bit of courage to the point where I can't even, I can't channel their decision. 
But all I know is in this energy, the ball is in their court. And I want you to continue to be nurturing and compassionate with yourself. Don't degrade yourself. Don't make this think that somehow it's your, like, your worth is why they haven't reached out yet. They want to come in and do this right. And they just... Yeah. The, the Really the biggest, most thing I'm feeling is just whatever this, this big third party influence is. The final... Get in it. Get in away from that influence. Yeah. This person's a vibrational match with you. You're sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. And they feel your... Your not like frustration, but they feel your like... So, just remember if you fall into a state of self-pity or if you fall into a state of this isn't happening, buddy, 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 you're just sending that energy to them. Like you said, you've never cared about somebody like this before. You've never felt this way about somebody before. So, if they're really worth it for you, you're going to carry on and let it come to you. Yeah, you're a vibrational match right now. Um, I wish that it felt better. I wish it felt more happy. And, but I sense that that sense of like that happiness together that you can feel for it to not grow apart again is finally them coming out of hermit mode and bringing you this forward movement. That's what I got for you, my friend. Take it day by day. Everything's all good. Let's get it.